Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the great Divi Essentials plugin. We're going to make these 3D flip card right here. That's a nice little effect to have on your site. People are mousing around your site and that revolves like that. It's going to get eyeballs on it which is just exactly what you want. And it's kind of 3D when it rolls the text almost lifts off there I've seen this before with Elementor Pro but that's a nice little effect and really easy to do so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder let's go down to where we want to work and I'm simply going to add a new module I've got a section with a row that's got two columns in it in the second column here I'm going to add a new module Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules plenty enough to build any sort of site when you add the essentials plugin you get another 40 or so of these modules plus some other things and of course here are some more regular Divi ones here anybody wants to try this out you can do so from my affiliate link below the video here so I'm looking for a 3d card here there we go 3d flip box and as you can see, it's already put something in there for us. Let's put this over here so we can see. Now we're working on the front at the moment. Now you can choose your icon or enable or disable it right here. Just simply click on the icon you want to use. And as you can see, it plops it on the box right there. If you prefer to use an image, you can do so by enabling this and loading your image. I'll stick with an icon that's fine for me at the moment rolling on down here's a heading text just like any other you can choose the tag size of it h4 h1 being the biggest h6 being the smallest but of course you can affect them in the design make them as big or as small as you wish I'll leave the content right here. This is just a regular content box. You can add media and links and anything you want there. You can add a button if you want to. Show hide button right here. Now you can't see a button right there. If I put a link in, it's because the button's on the back side. Button's right there. So put your button link in below there. If you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. For an external site, I recommend you open it in a new tab. That way your site stays open. If we move on down, we've got 3D Flipbox front background. Here you can use a color, a gradient, or an image. I'm going to use a gradient. I'm going to flip that to on. Simply put in whatever colors you wish to put in. You can choose to have a linear or a radio, or a radio being rounded. And you can change the start and end positions if you want to actually change the way the radius goes. There we go. Now you can set the flip box background just underneath here. Similar thing. Let's just give it a slightly different color. Give it a gradient as well. There we go, that's absolutely fine. And again, you can select the type. Now the button background, you can make it any color you want. So have something that will stand out nicely on that, probably a red. There we go, just like that. If you want to link the whole module to something, you put it in the link right here that's entirely up to you I don't want to particularly link mine to anything and you can give it a background I'm not going to give it a background because I think that will detract from the flip effect for instance if I give it a black background you see it when it flips like that the whole background is black I think it looks better to me if you leave that out but that's entirely up to you going over to our design tab you can choose the flip box effect. We're doing right to left. 
You can do left to right, which I think works better for this particular one, the way I've got my arrows. Or you can do bottom to top. But I'm happy for the left to right. Image wise, well, we're not using an image, so I don't need to worry about that one. Icon, you can scale your icon here. That icon color is fine. Let's make it something crazy. I'll just give it a color and I'm going to make it sort of real bright color there. And you can change the font size of it, make it bigger or smaller here. And of course, you can align it if you want to just below. And you can do the same with the title, the button, and the body settings. So I'm going to go into the title on the front. Let's have the front one capitalized. Let's put it in the middle. And text color, I'm going to leave just as it is. Size is fine, letter spacing, etc. Divi's got a ridiculous amount of fonts you can choose from font family, so you won't get stuck for a font size. Button settings. Well, the font's okay, but I don't like the color there. So I'm going to make it semi bold. I'm not going to capitalize it, but I will make it white. There we go, that works better for me. And of course, you, like any other text one, you've got text size, spacing, and height there. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Moving on down, here's the body. Here's the, the body content. And again, you can change the font, the weight, or the style. On the front, I'm going to line mine to the middle. And on the back, I'm happy for it to be left aligned just as it is. Works fine for me. So moving on down, sizing, well, this is common to all modules here. If you don't want it to take up the whole width of the column that it's in, you can make it a lot smaller, like so. But if you do that, you can also align it to the middle of the column, or to the right if you want to, or to the left. But I'm happy for mine to take up 100% of the available space, so that works for me. Spacing, they've given us a lot of options for the spacing, which I quite like. This is regular spacing right here. I'm happy to leave it as it is. But flip box spacing down below, you've got the icon margin, top and bottom. So I'm going to give it a bit more on the bottom. Let's give it, say, 20 pixels on the bottom to push that heading down. There we go, something like that. I don't really need to give it any more padding and you've got margins and padding for your heading also we could give it just a little bit more padding on the bottom to push that uh, text down let's try 20 yeah that spaces out just a little bit more and you've got the content margin so I'm gonna go ahead and give that say 50 pixels left and right there we go sort of squashes it in a little bit For the back, I'm going to leave it just exactly how it is there. So we're pretty much done. You can give it a border on the front or the back. I don't particularly want to do that today. We can give it a box shadow on the front and the back. Let's just throw that in there, give it a bit of lift it off the page a bit. And we'll give some to the back as well why not there we go and I think we're pretty much done so let's save our changes save the page changes and exit the visual builder and there we go we've got a nice little custom flip box and as you can see those icons kind of lift off the page just a little bit as it's spinning around, giving it that kind of 3D effect there. So there you go, that's how easy it is to add a 3D flip box with the Divi Essentials plugin. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have 
a great day.